Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and to my weekend cleaning routine. It's Saturday morning and I like to get most of my cleaning done early so we have the rest of the weekend to just relax and have family time together. I hope that this video will give you guys lots of motivation and help you with your cleaning routine today also. So the first thing I'm going to begin with doing is stripping all of our beds and putting on fresh bedding. Now as it is starting to get a little bit chillier where we live, I'm going to be putting on our winter sheets to keep us all nice and cozy and warm as it is much needed right now. My husband actually popped on a load of the kids washing for me earlier this morning. Thanks babe! So I'll begin with removing the pre-wash clothes from the washing machine before I load up all of the dirty sheets. And then it will be time to sort all the kids clothes into what needs to be hung and what is safe to go into the dryer. As you can see most of the clothes that I am hanging are Kai's because he has lots of little prints and things on his clothes that obviously can't go into the dryer or they'll melt off. So right now I will just hang his clothes and then I'll make my way over to the dryer and pop the rest in there. I really love this large window you can see behind me in our dining room as it catches all the morning and afternoon sun so when I sit the clothes in front of it they just dry in no time which is amazing. Next I like to get all the dishes sorted so I'm going to go ahead and load all of our breakfast dishes into the dishwasher and you can see this baking dish up here on the counter. I had that sitting overnight from last night's meal that I made. It had a bit of food stuck onto it pretty hard so I popped some dishwashing liquid in that and just let it soak overnight so that when it comes time to scraping it out it just makes it that little bit easier. So I'll begin by tipping out the dirty water and then taking my green action lemongrass and kefir lime dishwashing liquid. I'm going to then replenish it and give that a good old scrub. Now this is a new dishwashing liquid that I'm trying out and I'm absolutely loving it. I love the scent, it smells amazing and it's a phosphate free biodegradable liquid so it's environmentally friendly and healthy and I definitely recommend it to you guys. And 
I like to finish up by cleaning my sink as well just using that same dishwashing liquid again I'll go through and scrub it all and then to get it looking sparkly clean and new again all you have to do is just dry it down with your tea towel and it will come up looking all shiny and beautiful again For my bench tops, I'm still loving the Method All Purpose Cleaner in the French Lavender scent and as you can see I've nearly run out of it so I'm going to need to go and buy a new bottle soon. I use it all the time so I go through them quite frequently. Um, you guys know I love the Method cleaners, they're just amazing and they're environmentally friendly as well so I do try to keep everything in my house all my household cleaners as non-toxic as possible because I do have young children so I want this to be a safe environment for them to grow up in and not be taking in any harsh chemicals or toxins or anything like that Moving on to the stove top, I'm just going to remove everything off of it for cleaning and then I'm going to take my Ajax cream cleanser in the lemon scent and I'm just going to pop that all over and rub it in and then just let it sit there and just soak in and then I'll come back a bit later on and clean that off. The lounge room always ends up with a lot of toys in it because we do spend a lot of time out here so I'm going to begin by popping them back in their rightful place in the playroom and the movie room and then I'm going to go through and reorganize all my magazines because our dog Alfie loves to literally run and dive under this coffee table and magazines just go everywhere. It's like his favorite thing to do. So once that's all organized I'll go through and just do some light dusting before I get started on the vacuuming. Okay, so who else owns a cordless Dyson? I absolutely love mine. I just couldn't imagine my life without it. I really don't know what I did beforehand. <laughs> Actually, I lugged my huge big Dyson around. I just love this one. It's so lightweight and easy to use and I use it every day. I zip through my house with it and it makes my life so much easier. And to clean my splash back, I'll be using the Method Glass and Surface Cleaner in the scent Mint. Oh my goodness, I just love this scent. It smells divine. And if you don't already own it, you need this in your life. <laughs> Now that my Ajax cleanser has had some time to soak into my stove top, I'm going to go ahead and scrub that all off and it's coming up looking a treat, which is wonderful. That's what we want. Now 
time for cleaning all the cupboards and because these are a gloss white finish they do tend to get a little bit dirty and they leave fingerprint marks and all those kinds of things that you don't want to show up on your drawers they're there so I tend to have to clean these quite a bit so I like to work my way down from the top starting with the overhead cupboards then heading down to like the microwave and the ovens and then down to the lower drawers I like to give the dishwasher a good wipe down also because it does end up quite dirty when you're taking dishes out and you get little drip marks and then Kai's constantly trying to turn the dishwasher on and off right now. It's a bit of a game to him so we get little fingerprints all over it and then I'll move on into the dining room and give the table a good wipe down also with that same method or purpose cleaner in the French lavender scent. also a good time to remove any rubbish that needs to be taken out to the bins and I like to then take my method cleaner and wipe down the bins inside because they can tend to get quite smelly so I like to give them a good clean out and then I'll go ahead and pop in some new scented bin bags ready for the weekend's rubbish. And to finish off the floors, I like to give them a good mop just to bring them up all squeaky clean again and to ensure that any milk or food stains are removed from the floorboards. And to finish off, I like to give the rooms a spray of this Artisan Oriental Sunset Room Spray. It is absolutely divine and I would wear it as perfume if I could. I really hope that you all enjoyed this video and it helped motivate you in some way. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to join our family and I'd love for you to all comment below and let me know which routine videos you would like to see next. Bye guys!